Next technique that I want to show you guys is the long slide drift entry. And for this, we need a long corner to approach the corner with a racing high speed. And then for half a second, just clutch and pop the handbrake, brake loose on the rear, and then just maintain the slide, the oversteer through the whole corner. So let me show you. Okay, now we're on the long straight, getting ready for the long corner, shifting third high speed, turn in mini handbrake, this brakes loose on the rear. And now we're passing this long corner exactly like this, guys. I'm feathering, modulating our throttle just to keep us gripped up because we're flying with a lot of speed. So basically, that's about it. Now, quick explanation, guys. Obviously, you saw this corner on the drift track is very long. And I'm not with a super powerful car to just take it like nothing, right? This is like 300 something WDTS S13. So what I needed to do, remember, big angle, the bigger the angle, the more it slows you down. That's why you saw me do a very mini handbrake. I don't want to enter massive angle. I want it just to break loose, just enough to keep a shallow angle and the shallow angle will allow me to get a lot of speed and keep the momentum so I can pass through the corner. You literally saw me passing right here through the apex. So you can imagine if I jerked off the handbrake more powerful, that means I would have made a lot, lot bigger angle and I would probably come off the grass right here somewhere short. That's why you always have to take so many variables in your head, like what angle to take, this, that. But in general, this is how you take long corners. If you know your car is not powerful enough for the long corner that you're approaching, just take a shallower angle, make a very small angle and go past through it. Keeping that momentum, keeping that fast speed with the shallow angle will make sure to bring you out of this corner with no problem. So guys, as you see in this Norse Live example that I picked for you, the big handbrake is usually used for going into big angles, I mean massive angles, reverse entry is 90 degrees, or approaching hairpins, that's where you need these big angles, U-turns, any sort of these type of corners that require very massive angle. Well, in the other hand, the mini handbrakes you most likely use if your car has straightened out to get back loose traction and get back into drift. Or if you're approaching a very long corner, just pop the handbrake very quickly, do the mini handbrake, brake loose on the rear, and just go through the corner. In a nutshell, very simplified, this is the difference between the big handbrake pull and the mini handbrake quick one. But obviously, I'm gonna talk in absolute detail about handbrake in a completely different video, so here I'm literally giving you the surface.